with Hey Ethos, in lieu of the recent announcement from our Governor Mike DeWine, we're going to be canceling our Sunday gatherings for the next few weeks. You know, there's a religious exemption that all gatherings over 100 people can still choose to gather. However, we really feel that the best way to love each other is to halt all large gatherings of people where germs can spread easily. Additionally, we want to honor and be respectful of those in authority in our city and state. They're under tremendous pressure right now, making some really difficult decisions, and we are so grateful for them. So here's our plan. For at least the next few weeks, we're going to be creating an online experience each Sunday that you can view and participate in at any time throughout that day. It's also going to include some content for your kids. But if you're symptom free, here's what I ask of you. Consider hosting a small group of people to watch the service together and to pray with one another. Let's really use this as an opportunity to increase our local community life by gathering in homes. We are always better together no matter the size of the gathering. Here's what I believe. God is up to something right now. I don't believe that he's the author of the COVID-19, informally known as the coronavirus, but I do believe that he is not surprised by this. And there's a great opportunity for us to be used by God in this season. Think about this for just a moment. A microscopic virus has emptied cities, crashed the stock market, pushed the global, reception, re, glo global economy rather toward recession, and created some, some mass hysteria, even shut down airports. But, but we also know this, that our almighty God is still in control. As Jeremiah said, O sovereign Lord, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arms. Nothing is too hard for you. In these situations, as followers of Jesus, I'm praying that we continue to serve the vulnerable around us, that we look out for and care for our neighbors, that we remain a non-anxious presence in an anxiety-filled world. Let's not succumb to fear. Let's still exercise wisdom because faith and wisdom are not mutually exclusive. Let's pray for those in authority making some really difficult decisions. Let's also pray a really bold prayer that God would use us in such a way that is utterly disproportionate to who we are. I wanna encourage you, even right now as you're watching this video, pray that for yourself personally. Just ask, say, say Lord, I wanna ask that you would use me in a way that is utterly disproportionate to who I am. Lastly, if we can serve you in any way at all during this unique season, do not hesitate to ask. If you find yourself with any economic needs as a result of this fallout from the pandemic, let us know. Email us, call us, contact us through the website. Email me personally, jsmucker at ethosoh.com. But let's be cognizant of others who may be in need of our assistance in this season as well. We are committed to making a difference in practically showing people who Jesus really is. We're in this thing together, church. So for the next few weeks, we're gonna mobilize every resource that we have that God's been entrusting to us to really make a difference. So follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and through our website for the most up-to-date information. We're gonna post information daily, or maybe even more often as the situation requires. But whether you're part of Ethos or not, I want you to know that we love you. And we believe that the best is yet to come. God's up to something, and we're gonna be a part of it. I'm praying for every pastor, every church in our city that God uses us, he unites us, he equips us with his grace, his mercy, his power, his strength, his wisdom, as we work to be the truest expression of Christ's body on this earth. I love you all so much.